Hey guys, uh, thanks for checking out my video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Cowboy 3200 sewing machine. Uh, I got this machine about a month ago, just a little over a month ago from uh, Neil Saddlery and Harness. Uh, contact is Ryan Neal. At the end of the video I'll go ahead and give you his number. Um, also there's uh, Bob Bark, uh, one of the dealers that sells this machine, um, as well as all other models of Cowboy. Uh, so, like I said uh, in this video, I'm just going to do a brief review. I'm very happy with this machine. I uh, manufacture gun belts. They're about a quarter inch thick. Um, this particular machine, the 3200, has a 10 and a half inch arm uh, to work with. It's got a max speed of 800 RPMs uh, and the maximum um, lift under the presser foot that you can sew is 5 eighths inch thick. So it'll do some work. Um, I make dog collars and gun belts, like I said, so it's a great machine. Um, I'll show you how to thread it and we'll actually sew a belt. Um, this way you can actually see what the machine is capable of. So right now uh, I'm gonna show you the um, accessories that it comes with and what was sent in the box from uh, Neil Sattery and Harness, thanks. All right, guys, so uh, this comes with the machine. Uh, Ryan Neal, uh, or whoever's going to send it to you, is going to send you some samples of what your exact machine that is shipped to you can do. Um, he spends many hours dialing it in, dialing the machine into just the right uh, speed and stitch um, so that it'll suit your needs. Here we got about a half inch uh, leather, beautiful stitch, nice short stitch on that one. Uh, he'll, this one's got some saddle skirting. So he'll send you, um, as you can see, many samples um, of what your machine does. Um, he's going to send you two wrenches and a flathead screwdriver, which are going to be uh, pivotal in assembling your machine. Um, it comes in five boxes total when it's shipped to you. Um, the table, the head, the servo motor, they're all the table uh, legs are all in separate boxes. You're going to get a 10 pack of needles free, two larger needles, you're going to get four bobbins, you're going to get four bobbins, one's in the machine right now, you can see three here, and then you're going to get some uh, some lubricant, lubricating oil for your machine, comes in this and then they also give this little plastic oil can to oil the machine. So I uh, just wanted to show you that. Next I'm going to show you how to thread the Cowboy 3200. Alright guys, so uh, we're at the threading stage here in the Cowboy 3200. So uh, right here we have white thread and black thread. I'm going to show you how to wind the white thread. So um, you always want to have this arm right here directly above um, the thread that you're running. You don't want it to be, you know, kind of off. It's important that this be directly above your threading, your thread spool. So we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it through this loop, okay, from back to the front. Then you're gonna grab the thread and you're gonna run it through this rod that's facing parallel with the machine. There's two holes. There's gonna be the bottom one that's kind of going away and then there's the top one that's running more parallel. So we're gonna run it through the top hole we're going to pull, and we're going to come over here to these discs. You're going to see two discs right here, and we're going to sand, we're going to pull the thread, and we're going to sandwich it, kind of where it snaps in. Then you're going to grab your thread after you've snapped it in, and right here on this, these two discs, you're going to start from the back side, okay? the back side of these discs and you're going to rotate one full revolution around the disc, not going over the rod, just one full revolution. Then you're going to go another half revolution and then we're going to go ahead and switch the camera angle to this side and we're going to look at this rod here. So I went, I, I came in through the back side, I went one full revolution another half revolution 
and then we're going to turn flip it over this rod right here that rod so it needs to go over that rod after it goes over that rod there's a pigtail right here we're going to run the needle through the pigtail see if I can get it in there pull it through the pigtail then next we're going to go up here to this lever right here you're going to go from the back side of the lever and thread it to the front side like that you're going to pull it a little bit then we're going to go right here on this pigtail right here straight down in this little notch there's a pigtail a little hole go right through the pigtail okay then after you've gone through that pigtail right here it's called the needle chuck if I'm not mistaken it's called the needle chuck right here at the top of the needle okay very top of the needle we're gonna get the thread and we're gonna put it through this hole Let's see if I can get it it's just a little little hole right there okay then we're gonna get the needle or the thread and we're gonna popped out on me hold on one second not sure I was in there let's lower this a little bit you can lower it to make it easier on you okay now we're gonna push the arm back up using the wheel okay so now get a little bit of thread and from left to right you always want to thread the needle from left to right if you look on the needle there's a flat side to the needle and on the right side it's round this flat side is meant on the left side of the needle is meant to keep the thread running along it so you always want to thread your needle from left to right now let's look for the hole the holes right there at the bottom okay there now after we thread that we're not done now after you threaded the needle eye from left to right you're gonna run it down through the hole of the middle presser foot see that hole right there where the needle goes through the presser foot run it through that and there you go your machine is threaded for that now we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna check out this part right here the bobbin and we're gonna get it let's get a good view right here there's a little lever I pop it with a screwdriver you want to push out and that's gonna pop out your bobbin your bobbin thread alright so let's go ahead and take that out I'm gonna show you how to put in the bobbin properly if I can get this thread out so we're going to switch. We want a white bobbin. So I have the white bobbin right here. Okay, now let's look back here. So with the bobbin here undone, you want to make sure that the way you put it in is that it spins counterclockwise. The, the thread, when it comes out, it should be spinning. Watch, I'll show you. Basically put it in and it should be spinning this way. The thread should be spinning that way. Counterclockwise is how the thread should be unspooling. All right, so I'm gonna do that. So I know the thread's gonna spool counterclockwise like it is right here. I'm just gonna pop, pop it in. And then right here, you're gonna bring the thread through this little guide right here to lock the thread in Let's see if I can get it in and then hold on one second some technical difficulties here it's actually very easy to do and then we're going to pop it in and lock it in like that so you just pop it in counterclockwise, roll it through there, and then stick it in that middle notch where it'll be locked in. Then you're just gonna push, and it should click in like that. 
All right, guys, so here uh, we've put in our bobbin, and uh, now we have to pick up the bobbin thread. So we have our needle threaded right here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our bobbin thread, because if we don't pick up our bobbin thread, we can't sew. So the way we're going to do that is you're going to grab this wheel right here, and in one sweeping motion, it may take you two, um, we're going to pull this wheel towards us. Okay, you want to pull this wheel towards you, and then the needle's going to go down and it's going to pick up the bobbin thread and um, we should be ready to sew. So just keep your eye on here and we'll try to get that down. Just keep your presser foot up. This right here, this lever, is going to, pulling it towards you, is going to put your presser foot down. Pulling it away is going to put your presser feet up. Also the foot pedal on the right uh, can be used to um, raise their presser foot once again like this. That's the pedal I'm using, but uh, most people, like myself, prefer to just use the lever. All right, so it's important that um, when you're picking up your bobbin thread, you're getting your needle thread and actually hold it about the two o'clock position. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the wheel, not in a bunch of little movements, but try to get in one sweeping motion and you're gonna see the needle go down and pick up the bobbin thread. So let's try it out. There it goes. And it picks up the bobbin thread. Now. Keep your needle thread there and then get your bobbin thread and just pull it through. So now we're ready to sew. And um, we're going to go ahead and sew a quarter inch um, gun belt that I have and uh, we'll see how it does. Thanks. Okay guys, uh, I'm just going to show you a few uh, keys to running the machine. Um, here on the lower right end, underneath the table, you're going to have your power switch to turn it on. Okay, obviously your light, you can turn it on and off right here. I normally just leave mine on. I, even during the daytime, I like to operate with the light. Here's a reverse lever. If you want to go uh, with a reverse stitch, you're going to push this all the way up until it can't go anymore. If you want to go in the forward uh, regular sewing position, you're going to push down on that. If you want to um, have a shorter stitch, a smaller stitch, you're going to turn the cone shape uh, collar right here. You're going to lift this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to lift this about halfway. And then the collar that's cone shaped right here on the inside, you're going to turn that clockwise, okay, it's towards the machine. If you want to lengthen your stitch, which uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's about, uh, the longest stitch you can do is about four normal stitches. Uh, you'll back this cone collar out uh, counterclockwise. All right, but I got mine set to where I like it, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. We're going to leave that forward position. And then this uh, flywheel right here, um, you always want to pull it towards you. Um, you can do this manually if you want to stitch. This will then you just pull this and it'll make the needle go up and down. Um, let's see. This lever right here, which I showed you, that's going to make your presser foot go up and down. Just manually do that. And then over here on the foot pedals, the pedal on the left, the large pedal with the green padding on it, that's going to be the actual uh, pedal that you want to hit to sew. Okay? That's what you need to do. It. It's kind of touchy, but um, you know, you, you'll get used to it. The pedal on the right is going to lift your presser foot. If you look at the presser foot, it's raising it. So you can do that. I prefer to use the hand, the, the handle. It works out better for me. Um, and then your bobbin winder is here on the right. Um, I won't really have time to cover the bobbin winder. We'll do a separate video another time for the bobbin winder. But uh, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and sew this belt, show you what she's got. All right guys, so uh, right here we have a quarter inch thick gun belt. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna drive the needle through. Uh, I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna do a reverse stitch to lock it in. So that you usually wanna do about two stitches to lock it in. So I'm gonna imagine where that second stitch, or uh, the third stitch I should say, is gonna land and I'm gonna gauge it to about right there. I'm going to bring my presser foot down by pulling this lever down. I'm going to manually grab the flywheel 
while pulling, holding these, the bobbin thread and the needle thread at the two o'clock position. And I'm gonna drive that needle. Let's see, I gotta lift it a little bit. You wanna be very careful during this process so you know you're hitting it right in the groove where you need to hit it. See, right now I'm a little off center. All right, that's fine. So I'm gonna drive it in. I'm gonna pull the wheel until the needle is at its lowest position. Okay, once the needle's in its lowest position, you're gonna lift the lever, uh, the reverse lever, all the way up. That's the, like I said, that goes in the reverse position. And then we're gonna go back two or three stitches. We're gonna stop and then we're gonna go put it in forward and go over the stitch. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So right now, I've driven it all the way down into the leather, put it in the reverse position, and now I'm going to, nice and slow, go back about three stitches, two or three stitches. Nice and slow. You wanna hold that thread. Wait now, you wanna wait till it's at its lowest position when the needle's all the way in, which I didn't do right there, okay? That's when you wanna put it in forward. So now I'm gonna put it in forward and it's gonna go over those three stitches and we're gonna start sewing our belt. Now hold on to these threads. Um, I didn't hold on to them the first time, but you wanna hold, lock these, hold these at about the two o'clock position and then uh, until you have about two stitches in and then you can let go and then you can just start sewing. So we're gonna go nice and easy. We're gonna start out slow. I'm not gonna go too fast. I don't like to rush. Um, there's, they sell the belt edge guide that I have for this that will keep you at an exact distance. I just eyeball it. Uh, I put my, use my stitch groover, put a groove in there and just stay in there. And I, I'm doing white thread on this belt so that you guys can see the stitch better. All right, so here, let's go in four. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, it's got the servo motor. It's got the servo motor so that you can control the speed. You don't wanna go fast. You don't respect this machine. It's not gonna, it's not gonna um, give you the stitch you want. So I'm going real slow right now. And then once I get a, a pace going, and you gotta kinda move it around a little bit. You gotta just really get comfortable with the machine. It's a great machine. I like it. I've been sewing with it for about a month. And um, it's been great. So let's see if I can pick it up just a little bit. This machine will go real fast if you want it to. But again, you're gonna be sacrificing a little bit of the, uh... here, let's go and stop here. I gotta reposition my chair. You can see I kind of have the belt at an angle. You, that's kind of how, how it works. You gotta just kinda, you gotta kinda just, See, now I'm going a little faster. You gotta be very careful. Coming out of the gate, this thing will take off on you. Now, the, the, this is a nylon thread that I'm using. Um, it works good for me, I like it. Um, I'm gonna dye the thread black. But like I said, I did the white thread just so you guys can see the stitching. See, I'm kind of moving the belt around a little bit. I can go faster, slower. This has been, um, this machine has been so great for my business. My production has gone up 400%. I used to hand sew all my leather belts. And I'm telling you, I was hardcore hand, 
hand sewing guy until I got the machine. I mean, once you get the machine, there's just no going back. There's some things that I will still hand sew, like camera bags and things like that, where you, you kind of have no choice, but... I mean, if you're a leather worker, either a hobbyist, or if you have a business, a leather working business, then you really owe it to yourself to get a machine. Um, it's just, it's not only a time saver, but it makes your work look a lot cleaner. Uh, it pays dividends. So, I'd highly advise you uh, get one. If you have the money, I, uh, you can talk to Ryan Neal at Neal Saddlery and Harness. That's who I got my machine, or you can talk to uh, Bob Park, Toledo Industrial. He's a, also a great choice. Let me see here. You can see um, the stitch. It's pretty clean. So let's let's keep going here. I'm gonna try to do this whole belt on tape if you can. See when I take off, you gotta go real real easy. I'm sewing in flip-flops, which I do a lot actually. Just you want to just be completely focused on sewing in the groove. And like I said, I've only had this machine for about a month. You, uh, you, you get better. I mean, it, it's I I had never sewn on a professional machine like this before I got this machine. So you don't need a lot of experience. The good thing about getting this machine, at least in my experience with, I know Bob Park is great too, but with Ryan Neal at Neal Satter and Harness, he walked me through everything, the assembly. Um, and even before I ran my first stitch, he was there to, uh, to support me and walk me through the entire process. Which is very important to have good customer service and support. Especially when you're not experienced. Alright, so now we're going to go slow. We're going to ease up. We're coming on the corners. We're going to go real slow. Nice and slow. I got two more stitches here. I'm going to drive that stitch right at the point. Now I'm going to, let's see if I got it on the point. We're going to lock the stitch because you got to lock the stitch at the top. Now I'm going to turn it and like I said you can make this needle go up and down by pulling the wheel. You don't need to rush. This wheel right here pulling it towards you is um, is there you know that's what it's there for. So this is the way I do it. I kind of just lift my presser foot gauge where my next stitch needs to be. Just pull that. Remember just pull the wheel towards you. Make sure you don't uh, you're at the right length. We're gonna move this a little bit. You don't wanna rush this. Let me see here. Okay, that's good. We're gonna drive it through. This is all by hand. I'm doing this all by hand. Look at, see where you're going? You can do, you could sew the entire belt with this wheel if you want to. That's the great thing about it. So we're gonna do a couple more right here. Now I'm gonna just uh, finish the belt off. Um, gonna go nice and slow here. Nice and slow, remember. You can hear the machine creaking a little bit. Taking my time. Seeing where that needle's landing. And now I can slowly start speeding up.
I'm normally better at staying in the line, but I guess because I'm on camera, I'm a little distracted. If, uh, if it doesn't come out perfectly straight, it's definitely not the machine. It's definitely my fault. Like I said, there's a belt guide, an edge guide you can purchase. That'll set you right at the edge where you want to be. Okay, you want to get comfortable here. It'll set you right at the exact edge you want. It just goes in these two screws here. I'm not going to put that in. Like I said, I've had, I have one, but I've never used it. I don't really think there's a need to. Okay guys, we're almost at the end of the machine. I'm gonna go to the end, and then I'm gonna go back three stitches. Two more, one more stitch. Drive it all the way down. Lock it in, slam it in reverse, and it'll go in the exact same holes. Three, three, three holes back. One, two, three, actually it's an extra four. Now pull it up. All the way up, pull this thread right here, pull this some slack, lift the presser foot up, pull it out, and then you're going to cut your thread. Alright guys, so uh, finish up the belt. Uh, some of it was a little crooked, I went a little fast, but uh, overall it uh, looks pretty good. So uh, if you're interested in the Cowboy 3200, uh, it retails for $1,595 plus shipping. Um, great deal for the machine, just a wonderful machine. You can contact Ryan Neal at Neal Saddlery and Harness. Um, he is the national distributor for Cowboy Sewing Machines if you're interested. His phone number is 330-692-1418 or you can contact Bob Park. Uh, which is a cowboy dealer, very, very popular, 866-362-7397. Thank you again.